Hello and welcome to the first proper episode of the last season of Cabri Athletics Born to Win. If you haven't already, go back and watch the transfer special. It was, it was a journey. We've signed some absolutely fantastic players. And in today's episode, we are playing against Arsenal. So let's get into it. First game of the last season, Cabri Athletic. It's been an absolute pleasure. Let's go with a bang. Champions League football as well. But first of all, to Arsenal. Let's get into it. Now, I'm not going to go into every single transfer that we did do, but we have £10 million transfer left in our budget, and we have spent £104 million in total this season. I'll quickly run through the transfers, but last episode was fantastic. Edin Sparhic, our top signing, £40 million Bosnian from Augsburg, up front, £75,000 a week. One for the future. He's only 19. He's going to turn 20 in a few weeks as well. So, a big outlay on a young player who hasn't really got the hasn't got the form to show for it. Four goals in 30 games last season in the Bundesliga. But I believe that Cabri Athletic is a better team than Augsburg. So, hopefully, a few more goals should be coming his way. Suleimane Fall has joined from Real Madrid. 17 and a half million spent on this guy. 150 thousand a week in wages massive 55 to 65 million in the value there fantastic passing technique vision off the ball flair bravery and agility unfortunately he has a concussion so he can't start this game today against arsenal drissa drame again another 17 and a half million pound spent this time from i believe it was valencia it was valencia who hasn't really played that much but 22 year old frenchman 18 under 21 appearances for France with seven goals, 43,000 pound. Only a squad player coming in. I mean, dribbling, finishing, first touch, off the ball, composure, and physicals, all 16 or above. Fantastic guy to bring in. Matthias Baldo, our first choice at centre midfielder. Him and Solomane Fall are going to be our ones going forward. 23 year old, he's going to turn 24 in the next few weeks. 11 million, 750,000 spent on this guy. I think it's going to be an absolute steal. He's definitely going to get into the Argentinian team whilst playing for Cabri Athletic and Champions League football, but a very good player. And if we do compare him to Salomone Fall, I mean, two different players as box-to-box -box midfielders, I think they're going to be fantastic. One's going to be more attacking. One's going to be more defensive, more aerial, more speed. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this team and what we have put together. First choice centre-back, Anderson Gomez. Yeah, six foot six, Dutch fantastic with the ball tackling marking heading concentration bravery it's all there he should be a very good center back for us Wagner Gala Calaves a Brazilian wonder kid say no more and then Matteo Menecci has joined us officially as a Cabri Athletic player valued in at 75 to 100 million 150,000 a week he did have the match high Cerner clause which then brought him up to Solomane Falls transfer wages as well and then the players in the outs, Joel Marial, 44 million, William Gonzalez, 37.5 million, Gianluca Bellafiore, 18 million, Echeverria, Benedate, Niasse, Terreira, all going for roughly around about 5 or 6 million. So a lot of signings have been made. And today's episode, we are against Arsenal. This is how we are going to line up Peralta, Tarantino, Godoy, and Gomez with Berrio at the back. Baldo. And Thea Carne, because Fall is currently injured, so Thea Carne is coming in. Again, 21 years of age. This guy's been around the club for a long time now. Three years, £205,000 spent. He is going to be our backup. And Sidi Diasa are also, he's going to be our backup as well. But he's going to start on the right-hand side for us this season. Just because of drama, his fitness levels aren't quite there. Menechi as the advanced playmaker on attack. Is that the best position for him? I mean, Shadow Strikers here, attacking midfielder on attack. You know what, I do quite like having the uh, advanced playmakers here. And Diato, we're probably going to swap you over to advanced playmaker as well on attack, just for this game. Jonathan Torres on the left-hand side and Mateo Mitic up front. Let's get into today's game. Oh, Drissa Diame hasn't got a number. Did I save you a number? I mean, we've got eight and we've got seven. I think you're going to be seven because eight is going to go to Suleiman A. Fall as we have number four for, what, I've forgotten his name already, the new Argentinian, 
where he is, Matthias Baldo. So Arsenal, we was unlucky against them in our last game that we played them. We did draw 2-2. It was 1-1 actually, but we did get absolutely battered 4-1 when we played them in the first leg. So first game of the Premier League season in our last our last season with Cabri Athletic. Del Fabro, funnily enough, we've actually got a loan offer going in for him. Let's get into it. I'm really excited. We finished fifth last season. We are going to demand more from the get-go as well. And I think we are kicking off. No, we're just late to the party. We are kicking off on a Sunday. As Torres with the first... Sorry, the actual uh, recording did stop then due to running out of, of space. And that is because of the transfer uh, episode that we have just recorded. But, you know, we are still in the highlight. Mitic down the right-hand side into Torres to Baldo on his debut get in Matthias Baldo putting Arsenal to the sword it took him 11 minutes to introduce himself on the scene and I mean it's very very nicely worked here Mitic down the right hand side into Jonathan Torres who was a fantastic signing in January last season and Baldo smashes it past Uga Chukwu I mean what a way to introduce yourself to the fans and we are going to encourage them as well as Gomez gives it into Jonathan Torres. Back to Gomez. I mean, we are at home as well. So, Theata on the right-hand side. Deputising for Drame. We will see Drame in this game. As Manechi on his debut as well. Putting Arsenal to the sword. I mean, I'm not going to get too carried away just yet. But have we built a team that can challenge for the title? I don't know. Arsenal, they were clear winners last season and Manecci has found the net. Baldo and Manecci coming together. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Now, things can change quite quickly in Football Manager. But we are going to stick as we are. I mean, Arsenal haven't had a sniff in the first 30 minutes of this game. And let's keep it that way as well. We're going to encourage them. We're not going to change anything as Berrio is going to throw it into Torres. Back to Berrio. Loose pass to Langella. Diakane wins it back. Diata, Mitic. Oh, off the post. Manecci off the post. I thought he was going to go 3-0 up then in 35 minutes. I mean, pinch me at the minute. We're absolutely dominating a very, very good Arsenal team as Manecci gives it to Diakane. Mitic to Baldo. From distance, off the bar. Baldo again gives it back to Tarantino, who is on a booking, and we will bring him off. But I'm not sure what's happened. The gambit is kicking in now. We've had half a season or three quarters of a season last season with it. We finished in fifth place. Right. Point the hands together cautiously. He plays with the shots so far. I think I will make one change, and that is Tarantino on the booking. We're going to bring him off for Wagner Gancalavez. You know, let's get him a bit of a debut as well. And as I said... We have got Diata to come off for Drame as well. But two minutes into the second half, we're going to encourage the team. I'm a little bit scared. Dolani is a player that we were looking to bring in, but Peralta has tipped it around the post. And Saka now with the corner. Can we Can we look after this corner? Saka out to Darlin. Oh, there we go. We'll take that. Although Highlight has kicked in straight away as well as Dolani. Whips it in, headed away by Godoy. Bazatic to Dolani to Saka, who snuck it in at the post, threw a body of the players, and it's not the start that we wanted in the second half. Was again a little bit too overzealous, saying that we could challenge for the title? Yeah, maybe not, but we are going to crush the team as well. We're coming into the 60th minute. I mean, we have got less possession than Arsenal. And we may go to cautious because that's how we ended the season. We did quite well with a cautious mentality as well. I just don't really want to bring too much pressure on ourselves. As Mitic down the right-hand side. Baldo and it is saved by Ugbo. Chukwu. You know what? Let's make that change. Let's go to a cautious mentality. Yatta, we're going to bring you off for Drissa Drame. Sparhitch, can we bring you on? I mean, Mitic is playing all right, but we'll bring Sparhitch in to give him his debut. Tony Berrio for Archie Brown and Anderson Gomez is slightly tired, so we're going to bring in Kulmanikovs as well. Could be a risk making this many changes in 
a short space of time, but Goncalves to the back post. Bazatic heads it out to Del Fabro, who we have got a loan offer in for. Doilani loses out to Berrio, who kind of a bit of jockey in there, but it is given to Gomez. Back to Godoy. Goncalves now, lovely ball to Baldo. He's found some lovely space there. Whips it in, Al Ali clears it away, but Goncalves back into Baldo. He's got the space. Is he going to shoot? He is going to shoot, and Ugo Chukwu has yeah, claimed it, grasped it, hasn't let it go. And we are just going to gonna tell him to focus as well. We are coming into the last 15 minutes, and Peralta starts the highlight with the ball in his hands. I hope it means it's a highlight for ourselves. Archie Brown has come onto the pitch as well. Down the left hand side. I mean, he's roaming a little bit too much for my liking. Into Manecci, who loses out. Langella, this could be dangerous. Estanis, down the left hand side. Del Fabro, Langella, Goncalves cuts it out. Paulie gives it away. That's a poor clearance as Jimenez runs down the right hand side now. He's got pace, he's got past it, and that is headed well over the bar. I'd be very disappointed if I was an Arsenal fan there. Now, the possession has crept up slightly. We are going to stick with cautious because I found out that through testing our mentalities, defensive doesn't do very well as Jimenez now gives it to Conte Sal into Del Fabro. Out to Wolf. Oh, there's an overlap here on the left. Estanis. It's going to be a goal. It's going to be a goal. Saka scored. We shouldn't have gone to cautious. Let's go back to positive. We have been pegged back, and I'm going to demand more as well. We were in control in the first half here. I don't want to watch that. The overlap did kill us. And you know what? I will take a draw, but we have got a corner. Drame heads it in. Saliba. Al Ali clears it away. Torres picks it up. I mean, good little run here. We need a bit of inspiration. Godoy. Back to Gun Calaviz down the right hand side. Brazilian wonder kid into Baldo, who's had a fantastic debut for us. Godoy into Drame. Torres. Oh, it's been deflected just wide. We have got four minutes of added time still to go. The corner from Torres. What have we got? I'm a little bit worried about the break if we do get countered here. But Torres to whip it in. And it has been headed clear. Manechi into Drame. Torres again. Gone from distance. And Ugo Chukwu tips it around the post all the pressure is from cabri athletic here drama i mean a bit of argy bargy there on the goalkeeper as drama whips it in god calaves headers it loses out spar hitch on his debut and has just blazed that over the bar and we've got another highlight drama with the corner I mean, I'm not sure where this is going to go. It's gone in. Kormanakovs has headed it just wide. It is a goal kick. And that's going to be the end of the game. I'm so pleased with this team. We've, we've, we've outplayed Arsenal. We had more shots. Our XG was higher. Yeah, the possession wasn't fantastic. I probably shouldn't have gone to a cautious mentality. But an 8.1 for Baldo is absolutely fantastic. You know what? We're going to praise him for that. It was a good showing. And this team is only going to get better with the players that do come in. And a couple of bit of transfer news as well. Luis Guevara is leaving to go to Hoffenheim. 6.5 million is the total package for this. We're going to pick up 3.7, so we're going to bring him in. The reason we're kind of getting rid of him is £45,000 a week is a lot. And that's going to come off the wage bill. And we're also getting rid of Matt Moore for £275,000. £100,000 is going to be brought into the kitty. So two big wages that's gone off. Now we've got 14 million and we've got 120,000, sorry, 20,000 to play with. There's no transfers coming in other than Abdullah Hazizi. This guy is going to be a backup goalkeeper for us. 18 year old Saudi Arabian. I mean, he looks fantastic with 16 reflexes, 16 one on ones, 14 for kicking. Good area reach, command of area and communication. I mean, he's six foot three. He's only 18. Hopefully, we can get a good deal for him. And then Thomas Del Fabro. Not sure why I've got him for him, but it can't hurt. And Arsenal only wanted £35,000 a week in wages. So it seems a bit of a no-brainer for us. Right, so that is the first game out of the way. And I think with the Premier League, I'm not going to worry about the FA Cup or the Carabao Cup. What I do care about is... 
the Champions League. And I don't think we have anything just yet. Just clicking through all of the leagues that have ever existed. Nothing for the Champions League just yet. But that is when we are going to come back. We will come back for the Champions League. Now, I thoroughly enjoyed this series. A 2-2 against Arsenal is brilliant. You know, we've got Manchester City coming up next. But the Champions League is where I want to focus our attention on with the episodes. So hit the like button and subscribe. Check out the transfer special as well. It was, it was fantastic. It was knackering to film. But really, really happy with how it's turned out. I'll see you on the next episode of Cabri Athletics Born to Win when we will be in the Champions League. I'll see you then.